Hey everyone, I'm off on the tour de Bruce in T minus 11 hours. So I thought this would be a good time to start documenting the experience. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm hoping to film a bunch of short little updates on my phone and put them all together at the end uh, just so you can see what the event is like. Uh, so the Tour de Bruce is um, a charity event that my college are running. Uh, a group of riders from my college are riding over 500 kilometers in three days to raise money and awareness for the National Institute for Mental Health. Um, the target is $10,000. They've already raised four and a half, um, I think, as of right now. And I'm super excited to be going along because it's a really great event for a really awesome cause. And I wanted to be involved from the first minute that I heard about it. Um, but I knew that I wouldn't be able to ride 500 kilometers. Uh, but I got invited to come along a couple days ago uh, as their photographer and videographer. Uh, so I'm really excited to do that because I'm actually, I'm also making a mini documentary about the Tour de Bruce, so it'll be good to come, to go along and get some really good footage of them riding. Tonight was the scrut, uh, so everyone was checking their gear, making sure that their bikes are working. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy that I could get to support such a great cause um, in an event that has been organised by some seriously awesome people and that I get to hang out with them for four days. Uh, and sort of witness all the cool things that they're gonna do. So talk to you soon. I should finish packing. Bye bye. <laughs> Woo! 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 Yo. Bye, Bruce. <laughs> See you guys. Free sold out. We are in Burwa. <laughs> About to get food. I'm very excited. <laughs> How far have we come? I don't know. I have no Not idea. very far. <laughs> Not very we far. We just did the third day. Yeah. We already been there, done that. Yeah, man. We smashed it out. Smashed it. <laughs> no injuries. Everyone's good. Uh. Thus far. <laughs> now we're on a different journey to find food. This is the important one. I'm vlogging. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Um, That's a lot. You guys can do whatever you want. There's bakery. We made it to Dubber! Ah, oh, halfway there. Well, for support crew. We've done the hardest bit of our journey because today we drove from Canberra to Dubber and now we're closer to the top border of New South Wales than we are to the ACT which is fun, um, but yeah, so the hardest bit for me is done. That's the longest I'll have to sit in a car for the next few days, but the riders um, are doing what we did today, but on their bikes uh, over the next three days, so that should be exciting. Hopefully we're getting dinner soon, but everyone's unpacking and it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's day one, we're halfway through already. Um, we just had our lunch break. It's not even 12.30 yet, making really good progress. Uh, we're in Molong at the moment, uh, waiting for the riders to meet us here. Also, someone was feeling sick, so the Fender bus have gone to pick someone up, and we're all just waiting here in case uh, they need extra help and waiting for riders. End of day one, we made it. We're now in Orange in rural New South Wales. This is the town where Chris is from, so it's like being back home for him. I am quite tired. I have been on the go now for 12 and a half hours and haven't had a nap, which is really surprising. It's about 6 p.m. Uh, I had a 5.30, 5.30, 5 5.40 start this morning. So uh, everyone's now quite exhausted. I'm very impressed with all the riders. I think they rode 145 kilometers today, so they definitely have a right to be much more tired than I am. Um, that's what I mean, like, if I feel tired, I can't even imagine what they must be feeling right now. Uh, we've got, uh, really nice cabins here in Orange for tonight, so this is the girls' cabin, because there are only four girls on the trip, um, me, Ella, Tamara, and Alicia. Girls are in charge of making sandwiches for tomorrow, many bread rolls, and also a lot of baby spinach, like, wow, so much food. 
We gave the sandwiches cute little messages. I've still got a pink Sharpie, so they're made with love. Good morning. It's day two. Everyone's tired. We've just sent the cycle stuff and now we're clearing out all the cabins, making sure no one's left anything. We're almost at Calra and everyone's going a little bit delirious. <laughs> Especially that bus. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of baby spinach on the ground right now. Unfortunately, I got quite sick last night, so I missed the last day of the tour. I had to come home early this morning. But yeah, thank you so much to everyone for the last four days. Um, aside from getting sick, they were quite literally, possibly, like, up there with the best three days of my life. I had such a good time.